Hi there, everyone. It's Liz Zuri. I hear you, tax advisor accountant uh, for the real estate professional industry. Um, today, we're going to talk about, and I'm doing a solo episode. Um, not sure if you this is the first time you're watching me or listening. Uh, I do have a podcast and a YouTube channel, um, and we have a lot of good, good free content there um, that can help a lot, especially the real estate industry. But today is one of the topics that I'm going to talk about that I think is very confusing uh, in the real estate industry, especially for some of you who are just getting started um, and perhaps are thinking about wholesaling. And well, well, Liz, what's the problem with taxes, right? When we wholesale, um, because I think a lot of uh, misleading information out there. And, and again, um, not here to point fingers at anyone, but by all means, you know, I, I always tell people, you know, you, you want to make sure that you listen to well, the ones that do have some sort of, uh, you know, skills and knowledge in the field because, um, you know, taxes, most of us, well, we like it or not, we have to pay for them. Um, so if you are wholesaling or you're planning to do so, um, please understand that this is not a uh, long-term capital gain. Uh, it's some of the wrongful information I've been hearing out there, and I just want to make that correction. Um, there's not such a thing as a long-term capital gain on a wholesaling. Uh, it's really considered a ordinary income, um, regular income, uh, almost like if you'd be earning a uh, contractor, you know, 1099 miscellaneous income. Um, so whatever profits you're making, whether it could be anything, I know wholesalers, since this is what I specialize, one of my niches is real estate. I know people doing from, you know, as little as $3,000, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, an arrangement of uh, a contract uh, all the way with uh, as far as, you know, making $50,000. So again, it depends on the property that you're uh, wholesaling, right? In the location, especially. Um, so with that said, uh, please know that it is ordinary income. Again, that means uh, almost like a 1099 miscellaneous and you're going to be doing the Schedule C. Uh, and then with the Schedule C, you feel you you're gonna be able to deduct some of the expenses such as advertising because that I know that's a heavy uh, expense for many of you. Uh, whether you're doing it online through social media, perhaps you're doing it uh, with banners that you're purchasing, right, and all the signs that you're putting out to try and buy those houses, uh, or perhaps you might be using you know your your phone service. It could be also an answering service company that you might have to hire you know late hours. Um, it could be anything promotion, promotions, marketing, special vehicle, right? That's one of the big expenses that a lot of uh, real estate, um, you know, professionals have, uh, including the wholesalers, because you're driving around seeing what opportunities out there. So, and there's two options for that, and I want to be very clear about that. Is one, you can do the car mileage, and uh, and I guess that's the easiest one. And there's plenty of apps up there that you can use, download it on your phone, and just keep tracking you know, your mileage. That's the easy way um, for some of you who are a little bit older and into an older generation, perhaps using a log sheet book. It works for you. That's fine, too. Whatever works for you, that's what I tell people. So please, uh, keep track. That's the most important thing. And yes, let's deduct the ones that you do as personal. So if you decided that, you know, you wanted to stop by and, you know, um, head to the supermarket and got nothing to do, that stop obviously with, with your business uh, expense, then make sure you deduct it out of your totals. Um, and, you know, it's just a good habit to get into. So again, when you have that profit that you make out of the wholesale deal, you are going to have to have to done, do a Schedule C. And with the Schedule C, you can do a lot of deductions to reduce that income. And obviously, what it was the net, it's where it's going to be the final uh, taxable amount. And uh, yes, as a self-employment tax, unfortunately, you will have to pay the FICA, which is Social Security and Medicare, on top of the federal tax. Uh, so again, just to clarify, a lot of people out there, uh, wholesaling is taxable and it's considered ordinary. Um, and again, you're able to reduce it with whatever expenses you have uh, in a legitimate you know, way. Uh, again, separating individual to business expense. And like I would say throughout all my many episodes that I have recorded, um, not only through my podcast and my YouTube channels, um, but even seminars that I've done is, you know, always, always do your best. Even if you're just starting, you know, just open a new checking account. 
okay? Open a new checking account and whatever transactions you're gonna do, just do it through there. If you don't have a DBA doing business as yet, or you don't have an LLC, which I highly recommend, uh, you know, if you can keep the property in a situation with just a, you know, a transactional, uh, you know, agreement contract in place, and probably with the double closing that you might be doing, uh, you know, that all alone, uh, you really don't need to establish an entity. Uh, but if you are planning to do it a few years, then by all means, you might want to do that too. You want to have an LLC. If it's just a one-time deal, then, you know, you can just do it under, you know, your name and so on. Anyhow, I hope this has been helpful. And if it has, like always, like, share, and comment. Uh, it definitely helps me uh, to continue, continue producing, you know, this, uh, you know, great content to, to the audience and to all my followers. Thank you. And uh, I will be making shorter videos, solo episodes to help out as much as possible. And, uh, and like I said, your comments are always welcome. Thank you so much. This is Liz. Until the next episode, thank you a lot. Bye-bye.